enjoy and welcome to my channel. Trust me, you're gonna love today's video. And we're starting off in a coffee shop because we're gonna do a coffee crawl. And I say we because I have a partner in crime and all of this who's walking in right now. My partner in crime has arrived. Everybody Hello. meet Augusta. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell them about you? Sure. My name is Augusta Gibbons. I am a local podcaster. I have a channel called Stay Local Troy where I interview local businesses and just kind of highlight our town and what we do. I think it was very kismet how we met because we both get you in the I apologize. There's going to be a lot of coffee noises. We both focus on our town, which is Troy, Ohio. We both like to highlight the coziness, the aesthetic, the small town hallmark feel. And we both really feel like our town is Stars Hollow in real life. So we decided it would be fun to take you around our favorite coffee places around Troy and do a Gilmore Girls themed coffee crawl. And can I add, one of my favorite things about the Troy coffee shops is they are all either local roasters or use local roasteries, which is pretty special. A lot of what you'll find here in Central Ohio is local businesses really support local businesses. That's what I was gonna say. Perfect. <laughs> and I think that's part of what makes this community so rich because just like Stars Hollow, everybody has everybody else's back. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of competition. It's really more of helping each other. Yeah. There's a deep sense of community. Yeah. There's a lot of really cool partnerships that happen mm -hmm. in a so many different ways. Hopefully you'll get to taste a little bit of that richness. Today. Yeah. Speaking of taste, I think that, that should be a good segue to order some coffee. Always. I'm thinking fall themed. Of course. Yeah. What did you order? Chai latte. Ooh, classic. I love a good chai. <laughs> what do you like about this chai? Their chai is always consistent. Like sometimes you get a chai that's a little watery or sometimes you get it overpowering. Something I love about Boston Stoker is they have quality coffee. So mm -hmm. they have pour overs, they have a press, they have an amazing line of tea. Uh, you really can get a gauntlet of things. I heard agree on the quality of the coffee. I got their pumpkin cookie butter latte. I got it iced because I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. It's fall, but it's also 80 degrees. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, we're just being honest here. <laughs> I always drink my coffee hot for the most part, so I'm Do just you? the weirdo. Yeah. You're so brave. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do for the yep. things you love. <laughs> this is sweet, but not overly sweet. I love a good sweet drink, but I don't want it to be so overwhelming that I feel sick afterwards. And I feel like this is a good balance. And it's unique, I've never had a flavor like this. People usually go for the classics like a chai or a pumpkin. They don't often branch out to specialty unique flavors. And I love that Boston Stoker does that. I think every year they come up with something new. Oh, I'm sure. They do a lot of really unique things. Yeah. They even have an apple flavored one. I'm definitely loving this. This is a compare and contrast kind of day. We're trying out all the different coffees. And we're gonna see which one we like best at the end of the day. Oh, that's gonna be hard. I know. I mean, they know that purebred is forever and always what you love. But we're trying a couple places I've never been to. So we might find a new contender. Yeah, and you're gonna enjoy yours. Yeah, I've never been. Oh, I'm excited. See, I'm gonna discover it right along with you. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Alright, next stop on our coffee crawl is the Arbogast Performing Arts Center where Ernst is located. I've never been here before. I spy in Augusta.
get in the shot. <laughs> I think we're gonna sit outside because it's so pretty out. Take advantage of the nice weather while we can. So I ended up getting what they call a chider, which is a chai tea and apple cider mixture. That sounded all kinds of good, so I'm gonna taste test this. Now that I've drank half of it. Right. <laughs> we were it chatting. Was <laughs> Chatting and drinking and forgot to do a first taste, but can we just talk about how you've matched your beverage to your outfit? Well, I try to stay coordinated, so. <laughs> I wanted to do something lighter because it is warming up outside, mm -hmm. and I was gonna not do coffee. This one, even though this is a coffee claw. What a I, rebel. I, you know, we try every day. I think Cassie got some awesome footage, so we're here at Ernst Cafe, which is a really cool little coffee shop that's just opened up here in Troy. Something I like is that every single one of these coffee houses has a different flavor and a different offering and they kind of service a different coffee community. This one's pretty friendly for business men and women but also for moms. They have a story time every week with the library which is really cool. So I got the strawberry lemonade. You can flavor their lemonades which I did not know until mm. today. They had strawberry, they had watermelon, and a few other offerings, but I don't remember what they were. <laughs> they have a couple specialty coffees in here. One is the Lavender Lady, and there's a gentleman mowing the grass, so you're <laughs> going to hear that as well. Sorry. <laughs> They're not being thoughtful to our filming priorities here, you know? <laughs> we are not the priority today. No, no. And that's okay. We are sitting on the patio, which is lovely. It's nice to be able to get out here under the umbrellas and enjoy a beautiful day. This is the first time I got their lemonade, and I would highly recommend it. It's very sweet, and it's very good. It looks refreshing. It's very refreshing. So I decided to go for a non-coffee option as well. They have something called a chider, which sounded all sorts of amazing. It's chai tea mixed with apple cider. And I got it iced, but you can get it hot. But it's, like we said, about 80 degrees right now, and we're sitting outside, so iced was necessary. Oh, it just tastes like real apple. You know when you can taste artificial yeah. flavors? This does not taste artificial. This tastes like the kind of thing you would get in an apple orchard. You're welcome to try it if you want. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't have any germs, I promise. I understand. Yeah, I'm good. I have kids, so I might have uh, germs. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> I really enjoyed their flavor options. They had a lot of creativity in their menu. So if you want some new things to try that you may not have tried before, Ernst seems like a good choice for that. Can I fit us both in? If I scoot over, I can. Right with the go. middle of the table. Right. <laughs> we don't actually like each other. That's why we have a divider in between us. Right. Yeah, yeah this obviously. Is, this is just a business deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? I mean, I can. I can. Do you know, I've heard some people, that's how they do business when they're big, YouTubers, they pretend like they're best friends, but they only met that day. Oh, okay. Yeah, just to like cross pollinate their audiences. Business wise, it. it makes sense. Yeah. But that would be hard for me to pretend to be besties with someone I only met. I mean, teach their own. Yeah. Yeah. I really like that. I kind of like this better than the coffee, if I'm being really? honest. Really? Yes. Awesome. It's a good discovery. Well, the Biscoff was really sweet in like a desserty way, but this is a little more subdued. Sweet, but it's not, oh my word, I've just had three desserts. Sweet. Yeah. My first was a nice fall, like, not. Yeah. Since we're doing like a yeah. fall themed video. Yeah. This was just straight you needed pleasure. It. Yes. Straight pleasure. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> So I think now that we've had our refreshing drinks, we're gonna head to two other places, Winans, and we're gonna head to Purebred. And you all know by now, Purebred is one of my favorite places. So as far as compare and contrast, Purebred's gonna be hard to beat, at least for me. Do you have a favorite running right now? I enjoy every shop differently for different reasons. I think Purebred has more of the communal aspect okay. that I enjoy. I do enjoy that they also are a direct roaster. Boston Soaker is as well. But I think that each one offers different things and I visit each one specifically for different things. Yeah. Like if I'm trying to get work done, I'm probably not gonna go into Purebred just because for me, I end up seeing a lot of people that I know, <laughs> which I really enjoy, but it's not good for work. No. <laughs> Very distracting. <laughs> yeah. So I think we look at coffee shops from different perspectives, which I love. You see the community side of it. I see the aesthetic workplace environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when I walk into a place, I want to feel warm. I want to feel welcome. I want to love the interior. I want to feel happy in the style that I'm surrounded with. Mm -hmm. I love purebred. I do. I think they have great quality coffees. They're my favorite place to get pastries. 
Great um, customer service. Great customer service. You always feel like you're at home yeah. when you're there. So I do frequent that store a lot, and I, I do love that shop. I'm not trying to bash your <laughs> by fine. any stretch of the imagination. Both things can be true. It's yeah. okay. The fact that we have so many quality local businesses, even just within the sphere, that's a rarity. Well, that's what I tell people all the time. Troy feels like a real life Stars Hollow. It has all of the quaint, charming, quintessential small businesses that feel welcoming, that feel friendly. You know how Hallmark, everybody's smiling, everybody's happy, and it just feels like, okay, it's Hallmark, you know? But that's how Troy feels. It, it is a Hallmark town. It's cared and loved for by all of the citizens from, you know, the bottom up. There's so many different nonprofits and community partnerships and businesses that really pour into it and make it beautiful. It's cute guys. You need to come visit. <laughs> it is. And if you're interested in learning more about the history or what some of these businesses that we're kind of nodding to, you can check out my podcast at Stay Local Troy. Uh, we are on Spotify and I have had some amazing opportunities to sit with a lot of these leaders and organizations and have them tell the story. We release a podcast every Tuesday, so there's always something new and exciting coming, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at what's here. I'm always shocked at the kind of guests you have. Like, how did you, how did you get them to, like, <laughs> like, I just love that. You just ask the question. I always say you get a no for every question you don't ask. Absolutely. Well, the worst thing they can say is no. Right. That's what I've always said to myself or been told. I think that's amazing what you do. I learn a lot of new things based yeah. on your podcast yeah. and just talking to you. Yeah, I do too. Every day. It really is all about the community. And if you're watching and you're like, I really want to come check this place out. We actually own a house that you can rent out. It's called that corner lot because it's on the corner of all things downtown. It's walking distance because our city is walkable. So we would love to host you. I'll link it in the description for you guys. Yeah, you can learn all about me and what I do and the podcast and all the things. All the things. Because <laughs> we wear many hats over here. That's right. We all know about wearing many hats. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, let's head to our next location. Sounds good. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. One attached to Jane Mary's bookstore and one right beside a roundabout books. Mm -hmm. Both of them are connected to bookstores. 
That's right. So get a coffee and get a book. That's right. That sounds like the best combination. It kind of is, yeah. And a lot of my followers are bookworms. That'll appeal to the masses. <laughs> right. So while you're in Troy, while you're walking around getting your coffee, there's always a book close by. That's right. And this is delicious, by the way. Good. It looks amazing. I burnt my I tongue, but it's the it. Kenya. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just wafting it, you know, the chemical term. <laughs> Isn't that like a wine term where you're just like... I'm sure it is. I am not a wine. I am not a connoisseur. I just know when it tastes good. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like coffee. Uh, you are so educated on like the nuances. Mm. I just know when it tastes good. Yeah. It's kind of like an obsession. Very on brand for real more girls. It is. <laughs> coffee is always a good decision. Hey. Amen and amen. <laughs> well, now that we've stopped by the wine in, It's in the heart of everything Troy, and it is such a wonderful space, aesthetically pleasing, busy, welcoming. Yeah, it's hard to be. And they just renovated, which if you've seen any of my yeah. previous videos, you've seen the renovations, but for any newcomers who haven't, it's a treat. It's not just a renovation, it's an expansion. Doubled their space. They have so many new offerings coming, I can't wait. Hopefully they'll be on the podcast soon. Have they been on your podcast? Not yet. Our timing just hasn't aligned. They're coming. Let me know when that airs. <laughs> I will. I want to listen. All right. Let's go to the next location. The last step to find the location. Here we go. Here at my house, which is the Airbnb that you can rent. So you can literally walk to Purebred from here. Yeah, you walk out my front door across the road and then you just walk into Purebred, which is convenient since it was our last stop. I know. And I got, like I planned it. Oh, right. <laughs> and I got a dirty chai iced pumpkin latte, which is fantastic. That sounds amazing. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. What did you get? I got an oat iced chai. Just mm. hadn't had that yet today, and I felt like that was very quintessential fall. We had a good variety of drinks we today. Did. We did. I don't know if I could choose a favorite. I think this is my favorite fall drink mm. that I've had today, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I could say it's like my favorite overall drink. Each drink sufficed in its own way. It did. At its own time. We had our coffee, which we needed for the start of the day. Mm -hmm. We had our refreshing drinks. Mm -hmm which were very needed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we're lagging, so we need coffee again. <laughs> right. A coffee crawl, but with maybe a lunch break in the middle. Agreed. We went pretty hard in the paint on coffee. I think we could have used some protein in the middle. <laughs> it was enjoyable though, and I'm glad we got to showcase all these amazing areas. Let's do a quick rapid fire. What would you rate each coffee on a scale of one to five? First one we went to Boston Stoker. Yeah. What would you rate that scale of one to five? Uh, that was like, a four or five. Okay. It was quality. Yeah. I would have to say the same for Ernst. Wine ends, I got sweets. So you cannot eat their sweets, probably a five. And you can't then go wrong with chocolate. No, and then the pure red's a five. Always. Yeah. What about you? I think Boston Stoker was a four. I would have given it five if it hadn't been so immensely sweet. Mm. Ernst coffee was a five. That was so refreshing and delicious. The flavor combination was Excellent. Binance, I got the Witch's Brew, which was really good. It, again, had that really sweet flavor, but it was rich, it was robust. It wasn't mm -hmm. just sweet for sweet's sake. Mm -hmm. Purebred, um, it's a five. What are you gonna do? 
it. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming along on our day through Troy with us. Thank you for coming on the Gilmore Road themed coffee crawl. I hope you enjoyed and felt like you were having coffee right along with us. Felt like you were part of our quintessential town. If this doesn't convince you to stay, I don't, I don't know what we could have done better. We should probably show them some footage of downtown. We should. Because that's where you get the Stars Hollow feel. Mm-hmm. I mean, most of my vlogs are all of downtown too. If you're new around here, definitely go watch those other vlogs. If you would like an opportunity to stay in our cozy town, I will leave Augusta's information in the description box. You can schedule your own time here at her Airbnb. Yeah, feel free to reach out to me directly. I try to curtail each guest's stay to things that they would want. So if you want specific restaurants or experiences, just let me know and I'll try to make that happen for you. Well, thank you for coming along on this video. Can't wait to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a future video from me. We'll leave the links to everything in the description box for you, for the Airbnb, for all the things. Thanks for listening or for being part of the video. <laughs> if you're hanging out with us. <laughs>